Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium. You walk in this place, you can feel the echo. So many epic moments have unfolded on this field. And today, the Fighting Irish hoping to reawaken that in this big contest. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history. But right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on the eighth-ranked team, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. And the Trojans will kick this deep to begin the game. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. So Notre Dame's offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. Well, Kirk, you can just feel the emotion, the intensity of this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year-round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. They'll tackle them right at the 31. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Again, makes it second and medium. Back to throw. It's Leonard. Cut quickly. It'll be a no for a first down. Brought down at the 43. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Just great timing here with this quarterback and his wide receiver to pick up this first down. And really, over the years, that's what Notre Dame's looking to get back to consistently is being able to complement what they can do by running the football and to have a quarterback that can drop back and make the throw like this and keep the sticks moving and keep his offense out of harm's way. Getting set. Here's second down. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Mitchell. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. This Notre Dame offense is moving quickly down the field. First down, looking to throw the football. Looking for his big tight end. Over the middle, but it's incomplete. And remember, the last time these rivals met, Kirk, these guys dropped the hammer. It, it got ugly. And Chris, don't underestimate the mental anguish that that can put on a team. It's important that this defense plays well and tries to get the ball back to their own offense to give them a chance to build their confidence up. Second down after the incompletion. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. With the linebackers, and really the quarterback of the defense on this play, diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. He just flew in and blew up the option play for a loss. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, it's Leonard bringing pressure. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. Well, this is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. Punt team ready to boot it away. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. The Trojans' offense takes the field, our first chance to see them today. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also, he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. 
I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Oh, the pass is picked off. Not much on the return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 41. Boy, Chris, he hesitated just enough to give the defense a chance to get in position and come up with a big turnover. And the Fighting Irish offense is back on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. A change of direction. Tackle made, but the game moves the ball to 30. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. First and 10 play coming up. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Run right down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down play coming up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Makes the catch, but the defense breaks in the ball and it's a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. On third and short, they hand the ball off. Great move there. That running back picks up a big game, but I want to give credit to the offensive line did a really nice job there up front of being able to communicate get on the same page create that crease in the defense and it made it very easy for the back to pick up the first down and then big yards on the back end the irish offense comes up here on first and goal on the ground trying to punch it in for the score and he runs it into the end zone touchdown fighting irish but that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good. They jump in front, 7 nothing. Getting set to kick the ball off now. They'll return it from inside the 5. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Picks up the first, looking for more. Well, he moves the ball to about the 45. That's good for a first down. Well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right, and then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain in the first down. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Second down play coming up for this offense. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. 
Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. And the Trojans will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. And the wideout goes in motion. Handoff from the shotgun. Just a small gain. Look at it, second and nine. Handoff here from the shotgun. Tough running to avoid a loss that just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. And he'll drop back here on third down. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Trojans. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Here comes the point after attempt. is good. So far, this has been a battle on the ground. They've completed the first quarter, and the run game has dominated. And as we move to the second quarter, we hope these teams will build a promising start. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Bringing it out. It's Price. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Fighting Irish offense comes back out onto the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time. Looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Second down after that run on the previous play. Run back in the backfield, but he'll get the carry. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Out the play fake, he'll look to throw. And is intercepted. Can he take it all the way? Pass the 20. Touchdown, Southern California. Wow, what a play, a defensive score. Well, the takeaway and the touchdown, that is just a dream play for any defender, Kirk. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows you what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back for a touchdown. Beautiful thing. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT.
The extra point gives him a 14-7 lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fields it just outside the goal line. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So here comes the Notre Dame offense back onto the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back. He threw a pick six in the last possession. It's a quarterback keeper. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back. It's Leonard. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Tackled right at the 30. Good enough to move the sticks. And the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage. And he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. First down here for this offense. Gonna run it. It's low. A quick juke. Solid game. Moves the ball to the 36. Chris, it's the consistency of this back that has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. They'll hand it off. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down of the 47. What a surprise. Notre Dame running the football for another first down. Seems like we've been saying that for decades and decades. The ability to run the football, not just the backs that stand out to me when you think about Notre Dame's history. It's especially true about the line of scrimmage and those big offensive linemen opening up those holes. And looking to throw now on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's low. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You got a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Fires it to the wideout. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Dropping back. It's Leonard. Quick throw to his receiver. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Well, if you're not careful as a quarterback... This is the kind of route that defensive back wants to jump and get in front of for an interception and maybe a touchdown going the other way. But this time, the receiver runs it well, brings it in, and then gets out of bounds. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. It looks like no return here as that punt heads out of bounds. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here over the defense? Come up with a stop. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. What makes a really good counterplay is selling it to the defense. You're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell it, you're just giving the defense more time to see what's going on. They can come up and make the tackle, just like you saw there. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Short pass finds the tight end. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. That's a great feeling when your quarterback can make a throw that keeps the drive alive. Not as good as a touchdown, 
but it's a lot better than having to trot over to the sideline waiting for your turn to get another chance. And the Trojans starting a new series here on first and ten. And the quarterback dropping back. Caught over the middle. It's Branch. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. The completion makes it second down. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Grab down the middle. It's Branch. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. This offense is clicking, and clearly, everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. And the Trojans pick up enough for a first down here. Trying to find some room. It's O'Neal. The pickup is seven yards, now it's second and three. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. You've reached the two-minute warning. We'll have to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Here's the second down play. To the air, it's Moss. Receiver makes the catch, and they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. He's got it near the end zone. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, USC. So the offense clicking now, Kirk, building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing and doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good. They're pulling ahead now, 21-7. Now they get set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's four. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Notre Dame offense back out on the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. Dropping back, it's Leonard. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. He'll take a deep shot here. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. On the return, it's Branch. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They've got a chance here, enough time to try to add some points before halftime. 
Running back has it on the screen now. Running with purpose. And the tackle is made, not the big play that we're looking for, but a pretty solid game. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Second down after that completion. Quarterback drops back. Gets made on the out route. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Now the offense will spend a timeout here. Wanting to come up with a perfect call on this important play coming up. Crucial third down play coming up. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. It finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Time running down. Just one play left here in the half. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. And that is no good. Off the miss, the lead is still 14, a two-possession game. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head for a kicker. So it's first down, but they just kneel down before halftime here. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Bringing it out, it's Branch. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. Quarterback still with the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Oh, gosh. Give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place to visit. How many fumbles? Defense has got the football. This offense just blew an opportunity. Have a nice lead here in the second half with the football. The last thing you want to do is turn it over, and they put the ball on the ground, and now give your opponent a chance to get right back in this game. The offensive coordinator begins this drive with excellent field position. Receiver in motion now. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Caught over the middle. It's Evans. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Runner finally brought down, but at the five-yard line, defense getting pushed back here. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And here's the handoff. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. 
Chris, I just don't know about short games like this, especially keeping the ball on the ground. The clock keeps moving. They need points on that scoreboard in a hurry. Got to throw the football. You cannot afford to allow this clock to keep ticking. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. To throw, it's Leonard. He's got it right near the end zone. And he scores! Touchdown, Irish. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. Now the all-important extra point. The extra point is good. They're down by a touchdown, 21-14. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And here's the return from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. And they bounce back from that costly error here. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Keeping it on the ground here. Now's the first down. It's still going. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience. The hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. And the Trojans looking to crank up the tempo a bit. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. It's a nice throw and a great catch by this USC wide receiver to pick up a first down. And, boy, oh, boy, USC quarterbacks and receivers, efficiency and timing and speed and execution, boy, they are putting it on display once again today. And now the handoff. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The game makes it second and medium. It's a shotgun run call. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. That run sets up a critical third down play. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. They make the first down, brought down to the 31. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. And the Trojans will line up on first and 10. And the quarterback keeps it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, oh man, was the defense ready for this play. The quarterback just searching for anywhere to go, looking for daylight, but couldn't find anywhere to go in the keeper. Offense getting set. It's second down. Hand it off for a draw. It's as the middle to get stuck. That one goes nowhere. The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw, it's Moss. 
looking for his big tight end. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he's in. Touchdown, SC. And momentum really building. Now, Kirk, this one could get out of hand here in a hurry. And that's the last thing you want to do in a rivalry game. Not just lose the game, but get embarrassed. Man, you got to fight for 60 minutes. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Fighting Irish offense is back on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. With the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Now it's second down here. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Quick throw to the left. And he's got it. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. On first and ten, looking to throw. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. The slant may look like an easy play to defend. But it can be really tough, especially against man coverage, without any help to the inside. If you're the offense and you continue to see that man coverage, they might as well just keep attacking just like that. Come to the line for second down and very short now. He hands it to the back. They stop him, but it's a first down. Hey, it's not a lot, but you know what? It's enough for the first down. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. This Notre Dame offense is moving quickly down the field. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Big throw caught on the left side. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Try and muscle for the first down. Defense stops him short of the first down marker, and that'll do it for the third quarter of play. Let's check out this running back comparison. These guys have been excellent, pounding away and seemingly only getting stronger. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Here we go on fourth down. Get some space around the 30. Breaks clear over the middle. Can they catch him? Touchdown, Notre Dame. It was a foot race, and he won it. A 
That's a crucial score for it. Makes it a one possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. The momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And the point after gets them within a touchdown, 28-21. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Turn starts from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the USC offense is back out on the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away. Chew on the clock. How will they call it here? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, these are the kind of plays you have to make to be able to win the game in the second half. This back had a great first half and has gotten plenty of touches, so you've got to make sure this half is different than how things have gone so far. they got some ground to make up, second and long from the 15. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. He's a wide-open receiver, complete. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a split second. Usually that's going to give you enough room to be able to get that tight end behind them. And if the quarterback can make a nice tight throw like this, pick up some big yards. Takes the ball and heads to the left side. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Solid gain, moves the ball to the 37. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking to throw. It's Moss. Let's it go quickly. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. An explosive play. Moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 38. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys the third down. A chance to maybe get them off the field. And they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. And the Trojans looking to run some tempo here. On the run, it's O'Neal. And he's got it already past the first down marker. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. And the Trojans with first and ten here. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Has caught, can he get in? They stop him at the four, but it sets up this offense with a first and goal. Well, I think the offense lulled the defense to sleep here. Do you think that they're just working the clock here and running the football? And then they throw and surprise you and get some positive yards downfield just to keep this defense honest. So it's first and goal. The offense will try to milk the clock and add points if they can. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Trojans. So the offense flexing, Kirk, and stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if you're this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead so you can go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. Try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Right. 
Extra point up and good. A two touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team now set to boot this one away. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. And the Fighting Irish offense comes back out onto the field. They had a brilliant touchdown drive last time, mixing the run and the pass. Can they keep that going again? A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock him down. Hey, you're down by a couple possessions late in the game. That's exactly how you want to start this drive. Let's see what they can do with it after that nice game. That completion makes it second and medium. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Let's it fly out of the wide out, but they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Fires it to the wide out. Incomplete for a third straight play. On third and short, the offense coordinator has his entire playbook open. You could run it or you could throw it. Either one's available. They chose to go through the air here, but just not able to hit it. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Trying to extend the play. Quarterback looking to scramble. Oh, they stopped him short. What a fourth down play, and they will take over on downs now. Well, I don't blame the offensive coordinator here. It's the right thing to do down a couple scores. They just didn't execute. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Grab behind the line. It's O'Neal. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Tackle is made at the eight yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. What a game for this offense at the line of scrimmage. They've been able to enjoy really the tempo going their way because they've been able to run the football. This guy now has 98 yards rushing. A couple more, and he'll be in triple digits. What a great day for him. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Southern California. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. And they'll set up for the PAT. Extra point up and good. A three touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it inside the five yard line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. So here comes the Notre Dame offense back onto the field. The last time they went forward on fourth down, didn't get it, and it ended up costing them six points. And they bounce back here. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. 
This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Back to pass. It's Leonard looking for the wideout. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. Well, this defense has played well with a letdown there. A little too comfortable with this big lead at the moment, maybe. Yeah, and I, what I love to see is this offense has not given up. This game has not gone the way they had hoped, but here they are taking a few swings late in this game. This one ends up working out, and now let's see if they can put another play or two together and get the points on the board. We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Grab down the middle. It's Thomas. Physical one earns the first down. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play. Or if they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. Looking to throw again. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. So second and ten after the previous play. Here's the snap. And he's looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. He's got his man wide open. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Notre Dame getting set with a first and 10 coming up. To throw, it's Leonard. It's an out route, the catch made. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You, know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. On third down, he drops to, and he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Well, what a job by the offensive coordinator going to that five wide receiver set, creating the one-on-one -on -one matchups, finding the most favorable matchup, and then going to that receiver for the score. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. And that review confirms the ruling on the field was correct, so the play will stand. And he knocks the PAT right down the middle. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. The linebacker shifting around now. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration.